Good job. See what happens? No. See what happens when you're stupid? See what happens? Huh? No. National security, get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! No! Let me out of the box! Daddy, please let me out of the box! I'm stuck! Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! I'm stuck up here! I'm stuck up here! Look! Colonel, everyone keeps asking me to react to an incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising Part 2, Sons of Obesity. Well, Snake, I think you should give it to him. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All of a sudden, cut to Metal Gear Awesome. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, hotness. Okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up for Christ's sake! I know how to climb a ladder! Jesus! Ow, my ear! Die, bruh. <laughs> Thanks, Jesus. Whose it's footprints kid. are these? What the fuck? I didn't know that crap. What? Know exactly what he says fuck! About that. Hey, Snake! 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 Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Sorry, G. I thought Snake was dead. Didn't even break a sweat. Shit, I killed a dog by sweating. I can see into your mind. You like men. Like, <laughs> no, no way. It's like, you like men. You can see them in my mind? mind? No. No. <laughs> yeah. no. Fuck. <laughs> what was that noise? I fucking love Metal Gear, man. I'm gonna go on. funny stuff related to Metal I'm gonna Gear. go ahead now. Look at my ass. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm going to be a boss. Oh gosh. That's the thing is like I'm usually like trying to do an impression of the actual solid snake and it just ends up sounding a lot like the Metal Gear awesome impression of Solid <laughs> I think, Snake. Well again, when Aaron first did that voice, he didn't like he wasn't trying to. He was like trying to be a caricature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I hate this suit. <laughs> oh, I gotta take off the suit now. Oh god. And then of course the eyebrows and everything else that Metal Gear Awesome has to offer. <laughs> Still friggin' hilarious, even after all these years. Although yeah. they had to edit a few things out because, you know, it's 2022 Reasons, now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, an incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising Part 2, Sons of Obesity. Hey, I'm right here, man. No need to call me out like that. So we did the reaction to the hey, first. You can call me out. I don't even want to call myself out. <laughs> so we reacted to the first part of this, and it was literally just a fever dream of just memes. And I, I can remember most of it, and my brain is when it tries to recall it starts to hurt because of the amount of information that was just like stuffed in there. But you know what? I loved it. I loved oh, it. I also said like one of my favorite parts of the game was coming up, and the video actually ended before it got to that part. Ah. So now, now one of my favorite parts of the game is coming up. God. So. Because they ended with the monsoon boss battle, and I believe this following level is my favorite level. And oh, yeah? if uh, if it is, you'll see why. Okay. Have you played this before? I played the first, like... So you haven't beat it? No. Okay. Like the first level. Oh, okay. I, I remember the part that you said was like the, probably the greatest opening yeah, level yeah, it's, ever. It's, well, now my opinion is that actually Nier Automata Nier, is yeah, the best opening uh, level. Yeah, which, but again. still, like Rising is pretty fucking kick-ass to you. Well, we got this queued up here. <clears throat> uh, shall we? Metal Gear Rising, Sons of Delivery, and DiGiorno is my favorite political and economic simulator, well intended to teach the player the basics of price slashing and how to best divide the country as quickly as possible. And the answer, of course, is manually. In this visually engaging stock market index, we play as Jack the Woodchipper, a man, probably, on a quest to renew the job market one life at a time. So if you've seen part one of my philosophically charged video see, see essay the name? on the deep and interesting... It's so fast. They, like, the, the name's not wrong. It's just, it, it's not 100% accurate. Like, I mean, like, 
Jack, Again, what, what, an it, incorrect summary. But, 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 it, but it's not entirely incorrect, though, because he's like basically a wood chipper with a sword. Like, <laughs> yeah, but like, again, like it's an incorrect summary, yeah, even though it's not a hundred percent inaccurate. It's still <laughs> incorrect. I mean, hell, it, it's just again, it's there's no technically he is correct. <laughs> that's not. That's not how it works. I guess. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Metal Gear lore, which I totally understand, then welcome back. And if you're viewing this series for the first time, well, that's technically okay. You're just gonna be more confused than an American at a salad bar. Oh, I, I have a feeling I'm gonna be pretty confused with some of these things anyways, because it's so fast. Yeah, but again, it's zoomer humor. My tiny brain doesn't have enough RAM to keep up with everything that's I, gonna be in these. I'm able to I, keep I, up these with these the are gonna part. merit like a fourth and fifth watch for me. Like to <laughs> Yeah. To catch everything. Keep hearing the taco bells. Last time on Metal Gear Raisin, Guns of the Priests. <laughs> but as for now, our protagonist, Raiden with Biden, is forced to argue with a decapitated head about memes. That's not made up. I know the rest is made up, but that's genuine. Apple bottom jeans, Raiden. What boots with the fur? <laughs> Fresh off his adventures to. <laughs> Apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. The orange dimension and the insides of American police. It's up to our hero to avenge Obama's death through the slaughter of the unmelanated, learning the true meaning of based wow. through many trials, tribulations, and his guest seat at the Joe Rogan podcast, finally finding himself <laughs> at the entrance to Amazon warehouses with manageable stab wounds. Ugh, damn it, I need a token black person. What the fuck? Key and peel, this blood loss has made me delirious. Tell me a story. There once was a silent. I don't know. I don't know. Holy shit. Raiden heads into the hotel lobby, uh, hosted Spectre. by... Mr. Mosby. After which, the game sends the ATF to stop me from freeing the Second Amendment. I am forced to take matters into my own hands. This was back when turret sections were the pinnacle of game design. Excuse me, fellas, I'm just heading to this normal-sized elevator. Raiden, I'm playing another gotcha game, okay? Please destroy all records of my credit card debt before the police come. Welcome, one and all cost, to a classic stealth game named Metal Gear Solid 2. We're currently undergoing a secret mission to destroy Scandalous Snake. Raiden, we, we have to prevent Joe Scandalous Biden's America. <laughs> God of mercy. Why? <laughs> the inaccuracies are just too funny to not... Uh, well, you know what this kind of reminds me of, actually? What's this that? Dragon's Ball PP. Yeah, I get the that. The way he just, like, mixes up a lot of the words, like, and just, he's, like, uh... It's like a uh, caca -ca -ca carrot cake, you know? Yeah. And stuff like Virginia. that. Virginia! Yeah, Virginia. <laughs> like, it's that kind of thing. <laughs> it's fucking Again. scandalous snake instead of solid as snake. <laughs> uh. You have to stop. You're too late, Corn. It's vocoded to freaking Gangster's Paradise. Come on, dude. Come on. Pop, I have already recorded claim doing that. <laughs> <laughs> God dang it. I knew what that was, and the God, dude, the internet will not let that die. <laughs> Your voice to Gangster's Paradise. We use our Batman vision to carefully locate the bank records and also the rocket launcher. This puzzle is a great way to simulate the real office experience if you work for Blizzard. So after expunging the records of Overwatch 2, Raiden runs through fucking Black Friday. This makes Vietnam look like clown college. We even have a Richard Nixon. <laughs> Like, going outside the building, that like on the birds and shit, and running up inside the building, like this part's just fucking epic. I'm a Huey and I'm dumb. Oh wait, <laughs> uh, hold on. Sorry about that, everyone. It was a little uh, audio kerfuffle on my end. Don't worry, it won't affect the overall product. I think uh, we'll have to see. Anyway, sorry. 
What is up gamers, Maxor here, and today we're gonna be entering the, um, the, the what the fuck? <laughs> so it turns out that Bezos is a real big fan of Japanese culture, like a really big fan of Japanese culture, to the extent that he filled this building with ninjas. Don't worry, they still use rockets. The decor is so goddamn oriental it's killing dolphins. Raiden traverses the oh, big oh, oh, village with the DK crew. And enters the first elevator built and designed with elephants in mind, or just your mom. On which we oh, fight a gauntlet of enemies for several minutes as I reenact my trips to the humane society. You will never catch me, nor will you find the weapon. How tall is this fucking building? This is half of the level. So we get off of Mr. Bone's wild ride, which allows us to booze and cruise all the way to the moon, apparently. What is that music I hear? Uh. Oh golly, oh Geo Gillibrand, I can't wait to see what the game has in store for me now after all those long combat arena. What? So I want everyone to meet my cool and original boss design named Mistral. This is essentially what the Patriots were doing the entire time. AI Dennis Prager was Ow. merely a distraction. These Damn. fuckers were synthesizing VTubers. So now we're forced to fight their robotic <laughs> fleshlight and her huge testicles. This battle serves as a great moment to see just how far you've come as a player, both in ability and tolerance for the best game mechanic. Don't worry though, I'm still very bad. Right. Thank God that shit's over. Now we can move on. Oh, jeez. Right. God damn it. Gotta fight Monsoon again already, too. It's kind really of bold move making me fight Monsoon again after 20 minutes. And yeah, that includes the pants attack. Fucking Skeletron Prime looking ass. I guess you can say a good meme never dies, Jack. God, please take me out of this hell. I've had enough memes today. Look, it, it's Shadow and he's a nice cock. Pretend you didn't see anything today. Well, 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 if it ain't the feds. Unhand these brains, Jeff. They're children. Yeah, kids are cruel, Jack. They just lose touch with it at the ripe old age of 12. Wait, what? War crime this, can't eat the drywall that. Microwave <laughs> mice is wrong, they say. What the fuck? Not to work. Kids love video games. That's why I got them all set up spinning the wheel on my favorite gotcha games. <laughs> How else is a man supposed to make his impact? You refrigerated a preschool for fucking JPEGs. <laughs> you think I made the market for gone, you jack? Like every casino's just a big old conspiracy? Bullshit! Gambling's just a part of who we are. I just market it to sexy children. Besides, Whoa. demand for my products is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11. Wait a minute, 9-11 is bad. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Let's debate this on the roof. Context. Looks like you're a gotcha player at heart. Is that because of my brain damage? No, it's because you go after children. And there ain't enough uh. room in this preschool for the two of us. Now I do it the fortress. Like I said, <laughs> kids are cruel, Jack. And I love my friends. Uh. Welcome to the, the Bastard, featuring his tax shield. This battle is comprised of two distinct phases, each one easier than the last. And for some reason, a helicopter, Go Go Gadget Concealed Carry. In his first phase, we simulate beating to death a cheeky goblin using money to come. <laughs> I'm gonna use that for now. Go Go Gadget Concealed Carry. For real though, I always kind of wonder where that rocket launcher comes from. Just out of his asshole? Yeah, it just like straight up pulls an entire fucking RPG out of his ass. Not even a stinger missile launcher like out of his ass. It's like, huh, how convenient. Bong. It's like, by the way, good thing I had this with me. What the fuck? Where'd that come from? <laughs> it's quite obvious why he does it. This means it's up to us to cut each shield individually so we can play the game. And yes, you explode when you miss. Not only this, but his yeah. health is the length of a Cambodian life. In this 1977, probably my boss fight. Say what? Probably my least favorite boss fight in the game. Is oh. the fucking shield thing. Like, yeah. Even on PC with, like, mouse controls, it's still hard to accurately hit that shit. To get past that, the fight is basically over. In fact, it's quite easy to just not get past his shields ever and straight up kill him the fungular entertainment way, featuring Sheldon <laughs> Cooper from the Big Bong Sorority. Uh. But if you do this, you're basically Solid annihilating all enjoyment from orbit. I personally oh, recommend standing... The kids. Yeah, I know. He used it in the last video. Oh, did he? There, and just waiting for Jeff to, uh, present. So, sure. enjoy that second- Say what? I didn't remember for sure. Yeah. ...phase while you can, because this music is a gift from God.
This is as bad shit as it looks. Oh, <laughs> Can you tell that's my favorite song? I upgrade Raiden's item <laughs> as we board a helicopter. Being agree to driven disagree. By a, uh, what? But agree to disagree. What? About the song. Doctor, how did you I like both get an aircraft? <laughs> and, uh, oh, credit card. Rules of nature more than that. There. Our death, of course. By the way, Raiden, do you remember that bank you sent to the past? It was like carving a pump. Like what? You don't have to pause to ask me what every time I say something, just so you know. <laughs> it's, I can't hear it. I can't hear you say it. Oh, even if you don't, like, it's okay. fine as long as the microphone hears it, I guess. Okay. Well, this is why we need headphones, though. I can't go to prison, Raiden. Why? Because you play Genshin? No, Raiden. I'm a Nazi. Well, time to kill myself. What the fuck are you talking about? There's so much Hearts of Iron to play. I'm gonna not see you in a second. <laughs> Not today, I guess. So, Doctor tries to kill Raiden anyways, and he responds by dividing the public. The hard way. So, Raiden hits his head so badly that he lands in a, uh, a different game. The volume is a little bit, up. Uh, you know, it's just slightly, up. Uh, it's kind of loud. The graphics are um, a little different. Raiden heads to the gas station and uses the Zandatsu to have, cut through the environment dynamically. Yeah, that uh, that seems I have like no how idea it works. What's going this on isn't anymore. He's put it in Roblox. Not <laughs> even Metal Gear Rising anymore. I'm just playing Roblox games. Raiden survives the impact of a sedan when I was a child and gets utterly destroyed in Denver again, just like me on a Saturday <laughs> night, and is forced to play a previous level but backwards. Thank you, level designer. <laughs> oh shit, a free bike. Yeah. Don't worry, it's a rental. There are rumors that the Nords are attempting to capture the whole of Soul's time. <laughs> Anyone looking for work should consider the Fighters Guild. I hear they're always looking for new recruits. Right, if you ran over a child nine miles back, what are you going to do? Good day. <laughs> Oh, so now you decide to stop. I'm running late. Oh, don't worry, Raiden. The Clown College is closer than you think. Yeah, it's right in front of me. <laughs> Kill yourself. Your ass will always be cringe, and my ass will always be thick. 497 <laughs> North Parker Drive. Oh, good. So this is the thing as I was telling <laughs> you earlier. You're like, this is a definitely incorrect summary, because I was telling you earlier about how nice this guy seems, like, while he's trying to kill you, you know? It's like he's making him seem like a complete fucking dick. <laughs> Day, but I live with my mother. Is this her house? Bring it. In this duel between two equally matched swordsmen of various speeds, it's up to us to defeat the weakest Brazilian male. This guy's out here making the rainforest look like a fucking joke. And the best part is, there's no bullshit in this fight. No minions, no shields, no monsoon telling me about the fucking Among Us. It's just you, the sunset, and the soil. This is the best boss ever, holy shit. Raiden disarms Wham Slam Bam Sam, which causes him to lose his McFucking marbles, and this somehow makes the fight harder. I mean, he straight up punches you like he's in goddamn Yakuza. Hey, Raiden! Look at this cool bug I found. Oh, Raiden, no need to flip out. Dude's got thunder thighs bigger than the power grid. Sam will test every single neuron in your corpus callosum with unrelenting and dangerous attacks, strong enough to burn a hole in my Adderall supply. It's not a drug problem, it's a drug solution. And that is just phase one. God help you when he picks up that sword again. <laughs> Guess I don't have a choice. I challenge you to a debate. What the fuck? No. Dies of cringe. <laughs> so Raiden goes to inspect his kill like a cat, only to realize that he has no cybernetic enhancement. This man dunked on Raiden harder than Kobe after he threw an AV unit, and he did it by juicing. Raiden steals his Clifford the Big Red Sword with a 5-star gotcha rarity and 33% crit rate. Raiden, you have a motorcycle. Why are you sprinting there? Why don't we just relax and turn on the radio? Would you like ammo? <laughs> oh. Yes, yes, that's good. 
Damn, dog, give me some of that. Writing McFucking breaks into NASA so he can go somewhere quickly. You see, the current president, George Bush, has made a horse race across America. That way, he can assemble all of the votes and activate the guns of the Patriot Act. But to understand what that means, we have to head to a previous game. It's Metal Gear Solid 4 again, and the Clinton Foundation controls the entire planet. The only thing standing in their way is the now unsolid snake, because he's old. David, I want you to meet someone very important to me. His name is Joe Biden. <laughs> That's awesome. Damn. <laughs> I want you to meet Joe Biden. I'm using the miracle of child sacrifice. We choose truth over facts. And I'm going to choose death over life. Wow, that sure made everything easy to understand. Oh my god, it's my dad. Oh fuck up. I've returned with a puppy. <laughs> yeah, anyways, do you know where daddy can buy some cigarettes? Last time you got those, you disappeared for 10 years. I know. So have you ever heard of NFT trading? No, uh, what is that? Well, you start by buying Don't. a monkey. Can you feed the monkey? <laughs> nah, but you can sell it for a rocket or some shit. That's great, honey. I'll be right back. Now with our transportation acquired, we blast off into fucking space. Our goal is to reach the utopia of Pakistan and stop the evil empire of America from initiating yet another military incursion called Operation Tecumseh. Finally, I have tracked down the great Satan to his source. Now this cliff will make me a martyr. <laughs> Fuck. Jock Albradeen goes to the base so as to convince the boot boys the error of their ways and appear on Indian news networks to justify nuclear conflict. Raiden, have you heard of the hit game Among Us? You need to vent, Raiden. I know it will be hard to be silent. You might notice something funny about this level. It's, uh, it's three rooms. The developers fucking gave up, so so do I. Raiden plays the real game until he finds the cast of iCarly. Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state when nearly 14 million years ago, Raiden discovers his dog after being made into a Family Guy episode. No, I wanted to feed you that chocolate. Before a gigantic McFucking crab evolves from the goddamn soil like a thousand-year-old cicada. What the fuck? I, well, if it isn't sussy Jack. Bro, are you high? Let me check. Yes. High on American <laughs> spirit. And there's nothing more American. <laughs> and there's nothing more American than shooting a man in this Walmart of a world. What is Walmart? It's heaven, Raiden. Check the internet lately. Raiden, hop on Twitter. You need to see this. Fuck, I hate this website. It's all fucking weep shit, Raiden. It doesn't make any sense. They're being distracted <laughs> with other... Wait, 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 wait. I hate this website. It's all fuck. Physically cannot stop myself from spending my life savings on Genshin and fucking weep shit. <laughs> my days. <laughs> oh. Right, and it doesn't make any sense. Please, yeah, don't. Sense. Don't They're being distracted with other nonsense. Me. Wow. Selling VTuber feet pics. Wow. These baboons don't even know they're at war with Pakistan. This one's calling me a Redditor. And that's just the beginning. E-girls, gotcha, memes, all just petty distractions so real men can get down to business. Amogus. And as you know, American imperialism is absolutely justified because we had a black president once. Before I fucking killed him. That's a nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. Imagine a world ride in free of cancel culture, where no one can call me out for my outlandish claims. A world where I can say the N-word. <laughs> wow, bro. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. Catch it. I've got my own to debate online. In this battle against Microsoft Excel, we are faced with a boss too large to be fun and are relegated to enduring his onslaught from the inside of the Forever Box. This battle is a classic case of wait for him to do anything, just like Congress. And like Congress, when he does do something, it usually hurts you. Fortunately, this music is excellent and fits one-to-one -one with All I Want for Christmas. I'm not joking, although for some reason by uh. can <laughs> several tons Damn. of crush force. Maybe my sister could have done that against my stepdad. Raiden suplexes the giant lobster for the second time today. Then he yanks off his arm to have a sword fight with it. Every other game is now worse because they don't have this. Right. <laughs> I love that. I think the only other game I could think of that has anything on like a remotely similar skill and actually it's probably still a bigger skill is probably uh, Asura's Wrath. Hmm. 
I didn't, I just As got back to the You literally <laughs> have God try to smush you with his pointer <laughs> finger at one point in it. He does? Yep, yeah, and he just, like, you yeah, know, it's like God of War style. He's, like, grabbing his pointer finger as he's, like, trying to just, like, press you and press on you, you know? Yeah. He ends up punching him so hard it destroys him, like, in the tip of the finger. Damn. Oh god, he's hot. Time to hit the gym! I don't have much. I don't know, Jack. Maybe your face could use some work. Hope you can afford healthcare, Raiden, because the taxpayer can't. <laughs> it's funny because thousands of people die. Don't fuck with this, Senator! What? Snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> Typical politician, all cock, but no cum. What? Land of opportunity, American <laughs> dream, it's all bullshit. The success of a nation is determined by materialistic and socioeconomic factors. Read a fucking book. <laughs> the truth, then. Us politicians aren't so trustworthy. We'll steal, make shit up, even lie to our voters. That's crazy. I know, it's very hard to believe, but that's just what the USA <laughs> is all about, Jack. Not hiding our theft and murder, but embracing it. Whether it's votes, whether it's money, especially money. Fuck all these lipstick YouTubers and chicken shit Redditors. Fuck this 24-7 internet spew of Discord and VTuber bullshit! I'm gonna build a new future, Jack. One where we won't have to hide our stealing from anyone. And for that, I want you by my side. To build a world truly free from the consequences of our actions. Just like the Founding Fathers intended. What do you say, Raiden? Why not try to say it? Just once. I was wrong about you, Senator. You're not cringe. You're just fucking racist! <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> God damn it! We're making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. I'm sorry, Senator, but this is my Metal Gear Rising revengeance. You need to work on your fitness. What? Fitness dick in your mouth. <laughs> oh. My blood is red, white, and blue, Jack. I wonder what color yours is. Wait. Raiden, Brian Griffin. You can't give up yet. Think about every <laughs> mentally deranged moron you fought up until this point. You've always had a strange <laughs> Whether it was violence in movies or sex on TV, I was always lucky there was a family guy. Even if your IQ was the room temperature of Alaska. You are the best Chia pet ever made. Sam put a fucking speaker in his sword. That's right. I finally uploaded my consciousness into my gaming setup. Raiden, the reason you're cringe is not because you ain't skilled, but because you ain't ballin' on that stank-ass Windows 95. Five pewter. Even in death, he's on crack. Just this once, I'll lend you my setup so you can know what it's like to be a real gamer. You're my little dog champ. I've always said my sword was a tool of justice. Not a weapon, but really a way cringe. to bring back those good old-fashioned values upon which we used to rely. But this isn't my sword. Hey, at least they kept that one. It's a fucking mistake. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Maxor here. Welcome to the final bond. You know, he can be a... This guy's a little, uh... You know, he's pretty hard. We're here after extensive cutscenes to finally teach America that violence is never a solution. It's a question, and the answer is yes. Start praying, boy. Ah! Dwayne The Rock Johnson's immense strength and talent for volcanic eruptions comes from his ability to switch between a culture vulture and Obama at will, channeling the power of both races to whoop your ass back to Roblox. But among his many racial talents, our buff buzzard is fast, has a great singing voice, and possesses forklift certification. When you die, it will be in accordance with OSHA regulations. But after spending enough time in the oven, our athletic aesthetic disarms Raiden and reports to his chiropractor for an adjustment. This guy beats up more biracial people than a police officer. Armstrong even has the power to receive the light of Allah, which bestows upon him miraculous healing wisdom. Needless to say, this fight is fantastic, combining and expanding on every skill we've acquired on our long and arduous journey for a final battle that truly tests our mettle. This isn't even the first time Raiden has stabbed a politician to death, but if I get my way, it won't be the fucking last. <laughs> I 
do appreciate the fact that in a game where the boss battles are the best part of the game, they actually made the final boss battle like the most epic boss battle in the game. Like because there's a lot of other games that just don't do that. <laughs> yeah, true. You know, I'm starting to have a change of heart. Yeah, I can tell. That's why you're the best, Jack. You always wore my heart on your sleeve. <laughs> if I hear another goddamn pun. If you kill me, Jack, you'll finally be free. Free to follow your heart. Okay, that's it, buddy. Oh. <laughs> and yeah. in other news, a United States senator tragically passed away this morning after a botched open heart surgery. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said heart attack. <laughs> Honey, can we please stop watching obituaries? Watch. You'll be on there next if you don't shut the fuck up. Oh shit, my Blackberry. Good news, Jonathan. We've got a new job opening for you. Ah, that's great, Doc. Yeah, anyways, it's for a ninja cyborg. Ninja cyborg? Doesn't Raiden do that? Oh yes, Raiden. Uh huh. Well, um, the police might be after him for that vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> Manslaughter doctor? I did that shit on purpose. <laughs> Damn. Okay. That's awesome. Really? <laughs> Patrons, you're responsible for my atrocities. It's a good way to word it. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. So yeah. Uh, just gonna be honest, guys. That was, yeah, again, thank you all very much for recommending that. That was... So I just got to give you all a disclaimer right now because I've already seen a bunch of comments asking us to do the Yakuza 0 video. He's I'm playing. in the middle of playing that, so it's going to be a while until I can watch it without risking spoilers. And I know he doesn't like straight up spoil the actual plot, but but I just don't want to see all the crazy ass situations and stuff that well, he's going to show from the game that I haven't seen yet. There's other games that he's done yet. that honestly I that I've played through and I think you've played through as well and I wouldn't mind seeing that. Yeah, and just on Yakuza 0 it'll it'll be a while or Nate'll have to do it without me. We'll so, see. Sorry about that. But we'll, that, we'll that is see. one game that I've been trying to get through for a very long time. <laughs> a massive fucking game yeah well we'll see what happens all right well hot dude what a friggin like crazy ass video holy shit yep. i'm i'm at a loss for words right now in terms of just how this man's brain works i mean the amount of memes he is able to cram into one video and Again, just make, keeping it funny and keeping it fresh. It's also cracking me up that he was like throwing in little comments as to like what parts of the game that he actually had problems with, like yeah, where he died and stuff. And I was just like, yeah, the first time I played it, I remember that being pretty hard, and like now I've played it so many times, it's just kind of like, yeah, well, I used like to think this game was hard, <laughs> <laughs> and now and now knowing now knowing what he knows, Nick is just like, yeah, it's whatever. It's just, there's kind of, like, tricks that just let you sort of beat most everything without too much trouble. Yeah. It's a lot like Sekiro, because I remember early on in Sekiro... Not, you no, were... no, not at all. Because I tried to go back and play Sekiro again, and, like, I already can't fucking play it. Like, Damn. It, it's not like riding a bike. Sekiro is a rhythm memorization game. And if you haven't played it in too long and forgot all the patterns, you have to relearn the whole fucking game. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That sucks. Uh, like, Metal Gear is more like you can tap towards the enemy you're immediately fighting while hitting attack at the same time. And as long as you're not holding forward on any direction, you're going to block most of anything that comes at you. Other than that, it's just knowing when to do that and when to run out the way. And also, uh, getting your uh, skill up with the uh, directional slashes helps as well, because you can heal yourself to full if you hit the weak points when you're finishing off an enemy yeah. every time. So, like, if you get good at that, then you're always at full health, basically. Like, after everybody you kill. So. Okay. Very nice. Well. It's not a super hard game, but it is a badass and fun game. <laughs> Oh. But it does feel kind of hard the first time you play it, just until you get used to the way it works. 
Yeah. All right, well, I think that's going to do it, everyone. This was uh, an incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising Part 2, Sons of Obesity by Maxor. Good Lord. Maybe an incorrect summary, but it was a great summary. Yes, it is. <laughs> Very. And you know what? We just got done watching the second one of these. And uh, I left a like on the video, of course. And also, there we go. There's a subscribe to Maxor because... I know that a lot of you out there would be like, Hey, you like these videos. How come you don't subscribe? Well, there you go. Microsoft acquired Blizzard one day after this video is released. Ryan's attack is canonical. I have predicted the future again. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Also, I am leaving a comment on the original video. And hopefully y'all can find it. And if y'all do find it, uh, be sure to comment on ours, and, uh, hey, uh, yeah, just be sure to check out more from Maxor. This guy is a great creator, y'all. And I guess that's gonna do it for this one. Until then, I'm Nate. I am Nick. Take care, everybody. Peace.